this video we're going to be talking about VisiWire. And with collaboration with our partners at Makino, we were able to make this video. So for that, we thank them. As you'll see later in this video, there are many different Wire Edo machines, as well as Syncer and CNC machines offered by Makino. So let's start off with our VisiWire, and we're going to be creating features first. There's multiple different ways to create features. The first way we're going to show is a manual-based feature. So we're going to create this as a standard feature here. Pick our profile. And then inside of this dialog, we can choose whether this is going to be a pocket type of feature or a boss to determine which side the wire is going to cut on. So as you can see, we can extrude this down to the proper height it needs to be. And there's our feature. So a second way of being able to do this is by actually letting the system scan for it. So I'm going to use some simple modeling commands to be able to actually extrude that into our part. So it actually shows the actual part being cavitied out. So from here, instead of a manual feature, we're going to let the system scan for that feature itself using recognition. So with this, you can see how there is now a new pocket. From here, we're going to go ahead and add a wire operation. When we add a wire operation, we can select Add Operation and choose the operation itself. When we choose it, there are some very important things to choose. As you can see, there are several types of manufacturers, which in this case, we'll choose Makino. Inside of here, we choose the type of material. And then we choose the wire thickness. These are going to be important later when it comes to selecting technologies to be able to put in the correct electric levels and offsets for the machine. So just to look at this, if you look at Makino specifically, you can see how there's hundreds of machines in here for different models, different versions, and it offers all kinds of different technology based on the machine that you select. So within here, let's start talking about our actual operation menus. So you can choose within the cut methods, whether you're doing clockwise, counterclockwise, you can choose the technology based on what we selected earlier, and it populates those electric values. You can see the generator values that the machine reads. It gives you all kinds of different information. If we did a three cut pass here, we could determine our tags. So what's our tag distance? When is it actually going to leave the tag in there? That's what this menu does. And you can choose the distance the wire is going to lead on and lead off. Within programming planes, you could determine how high your nozzle is above and below the part. And under miscellaneous, you can add custom code. So within our next dialog, we're going to change our approach point to that circle that I have at the top part of the screen. If we go into here, we could right click and say edit geometry. Within edit geometry, we could change our approach, which automatically shifts your start, retract and stop values to that area. So if I go ahead and build, it's going to go ahead and change the start approach and retract points to that specific point area right there. So with that, we can then post out the program. So it's very easy to post out a program within Visi, and you can sample the code that you're seeing that's actually going to be showing up at the machine. So as you can see, here is the same exact posted code at the Makino Wire EDM machine. So now we're going to start writing the program from that. You can see how the actual machine interacts with the posted code from Visi, and you can see how it starts cutting the part. Before the cutting process, we can also run a simulation through kinematics. If I hit OK, you could actually see what the wire burning is actually going to look like. So you can simulate the actual wire process. So as you can see, it's showing you the actual XY movements on the right, and it's showing the wire process. If you look at the controller, which we're going to show here in just a second, you can see the same exact process that's going on. So this is actually while the program is running. This is the process of where it's at in this current step. And you can see on the machine where it's actually running. So kind of finishing up the simulation, you can see exactly what is going to happen at the machine. We remove that slug out, and you can see the slug actually taken out. 